Look, I know this video is gonna seem outdated, but am I really the only one that feels like this movie is fucking outdated? Cue, cue the music. Hey guys, Keon back here, and I am back with another movie review. And it's been a kind of feels like kind of a minute, but and this is about Slender Man. Wow, huh. look, I'm not surprised that this movie was made, not at all, really, because it was an interesting um, computer game. It really was entertaining when it was out. It was really popular when I was like a sophomore in high school I'm 21 and he made a movie about it now like it just felt out of place it movie I mean overall it's pretty much what you expect out of a horror movie you know you got your teen the little teenagers and everything they have the main girls in here I'm just sorry not sorry but I I, I, didn't, I really I thought the acting in here was very poor I uh, you have the girl in here from the kissing booth um, I don't remember her name, but she's the main character in there. She's in Ramona and Beezus and other crappy teen movies. And oh my god, this movie's just this movie's just a full-on cringe fest. Just a full-on cringe fest. My god. If making a Ouija board movie was a terrible idea, then making a goddamn Slenderman movie is an even worse idea. But whatever. The only thing I can say that was good about this is how they executed what they did with Slenderman, and that is it. Other than that, at a point near the end, and I mean, if I get in spoiler territory, I mean, whatever. It's not really, there's nothing else that you guys can't predict yourself. But with the message that I feel like that they're trying to perceive in here is that, you know, with the whole concept of, oh, he spreads like a virus. And, you know, when people spread word about him and talk about him, do the Photoshop pictures and all that, yada, yada stuff. And they're like, oh, it's our fault that that happens and whatever the hell they were going for. I'm just like... All right, look, cool. This would have been all right if maybe this was like 2013. Awesome, fine. But this is 2018, so this your point is mute. I, I don't know. It's like what you're going for, absolutely mute. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean absolutely anything. Like screw you. Like get that crap out of my face. Holy crap. At a point, like one of the four main girl. Well, I can't even say main, but one of the four girls. I wasn't even sure if she died. Like. I really wasn't sure. You literally see her with a crazy look in her face. And then next thing you know, I believe that was it. I honestly don't recall anything else happening. Now, this movie as a horror movie, 0 out of 10. Now as a comedy, a 10 out of 10, you know. Gives you, like, gives you those good old cringy laughs, man. You know, the, the poor writing, the crappy dialogue, the inaccurate representation of teenagers. Holy wow. I, I don't know. Is that really much I can really say of this? I, I can't. I, I just can't go into depth about it of anything as such that I feel like I haven't really pointed out that is that flaws in this movie. I can't really say there's any good. I said the only good. The only good was Slenderman. And my God, I said it already all before. The dialogue's terrible. The acting's terrible. The casting's terrible. Um, I say the best actor, if I really, or actress, that if I really had to say is like this young girl who's like the little sister um, of one of the main girls. And that's mainly because like the ending scene, I thought she executed that emotional moment very well. I thought she did a splendid job. Other than that, wow, this terrible movie. Sorry to come back with um, movie reviews with this, but whatever, forget it. Slurman got out the way, boom, woo, hey, so, if you guys seen that movie and you thought it was a piece of crap, awesome. If you thought it was great, all right. But comment below. Let me know exactly how you felt about it. If you think there's any other horror movies or a video game, a horror video game that you would like for people to make a movie out of, please leave a comment below. And as always, I do highly recommend you like if you dare and subscribe if you care. And Keon for Miles. Thank you.